030 or 0739309593 or send an email to info at rouselhouse.com. We also hire professional cooks, housekeepers, waiters and waitresses. Visit our website at www.sentheres.ac.ke for more details. St. Therese Vocational Training College actualize your full potential in life. Across multiple channels, get on board for big and bold adventures. Now it's time for a breakdown. Subscribe now to the Aerial Classic Bouquet at only 899 shillings for over 75 channels. Or Dish Smart Bouquet at only 999 shillings for over 105 channels per month. Maximum entertainment at a happy price with Star Times. Star Times. Enjoy digital life. Dear friends and people of goodwill, peace and goodness, I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Father Arnold Shirema. I am the superior of the Capuchin Brothers in Kenya. I wish to take this opportunity to welcome you all to our annual Family Day fundraising in aid of the construction of our regional custodial house at our headquarters at St. Jude's Chapel, Westlands, Nairobi. The fundraising will be held on 7th October 2022 at St. Jude Chapel. Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity. Sophia Mushiri, special intention. John Kimani, special intention. All the faithful departed after at Father Forster's parish in Germany. Together with our intentions, we begin our mass in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning. Today Jesus challenges us that his relatives are those who hear the word of God and put it into practice. For the time we are only hearers, but less doers of the word of God, we have the good Lord to pardon us and help us to always hear and act on the word of God. I confess to Almighty God, In my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, 
through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask blessed Mary of Abati, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you. We adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have been pleased to increase your adopted children in all the world, and who made the blood of the martyrs, St. Andrew Kim Tegon and his companions, a most fruitful seed of Christians, grant that we may be defended by their help and forfeit always from their example. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Proverbs. The king's heart is a stream of water in the hand of the Lord. He turns it wherever he will. Every way of a man is light in his own eyes, but the Lord weighs the heart. To do righteousness and justice is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. How the eyes are the proud heart, the lamp of the wicked, I'll sin. The plans of the delight leads surely to abundance, but everyone who is hasty comes only to want. The getting of treasures by a lying tongue is a freeing vapor and a snare of death. The soul of the wicked desires evil. His neighbor finds no mercy in his eyes. When a scoffer is punished, the simple becomes wise. When a wise man is instructed, he gains knowledge. The latchers observes the house of the wicked, the wicked are cast down to ruin. He who closes his ear to the cry of the poor will himself cry out and not be harmed. The word of the Lord. The response to the psalm is, guide me Lord, in the path of your commands. Amen. Guide me, Lord, in the path of your commands. Me, Lord, in the path of your commands. Blessed are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. 
Make me clasp the way of your precepts, and I will ponder your wonders. Guide me, Lord, in the path of your commands. Guide me, Lord, in the path of your command. I have chosen the way of faithfulness. You are declared I have upheld. Grant me insight that I may keep your law and observe it wholeheartedly. Guide me, Lord, in the paths of your command. Guide me in the paths of your command, for in them is my delight. I shall always keep your law forever and ever. Guide me, Lord, in the paths of your command. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia. 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 Blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, his mother and his brethren came to Jesus, but they could not reach him for the crowd. And he was told, Your mother and your brethren are standing outside, desiring to see you. But uh, Jesus said to them, My mother and my brethren are those who hear the word of God and do it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. God is good. My mother and my brethren are those who hear the word of God and do it. Suppose you are his mother and his brother and sister and Jesus denies you in public like this. Now what will you do at home when you are together? At least you will punch him, isn't it? So Jesus wants to make a statement that what is important is not that we are related by blood. The most important thing is to hear the word of God and put it in our lives. That what will bring about change. That what will indicate that we are children of God. We know that we expect our children to obey us, isn't it? How would you feel when your child does not listen to you, does not implement your instruction? And so what is important in life is to hear and then do it. So today Jesus has people before him and he's teaching them and they were glued to his word and now the family came wanting him to have a private talk and he says this that those who belong to him are those who are listening now and not only listening but to do it dear brothers and sisters we know that we hear a lot but we do very less of what we hear from the word of God. Very few of us are able 
to implement the word of God in their lives. But most of the time we hear, but does not stay, does not stick in our lives. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Andrew and companions. These are people who had the word of God and put it into practice to the point that it cost them their lives. By that time they were given choice to denounce their faith and be saved. But they rather opted to die rather than to denounce the faith in Christ. That is the degree of hearing and acting on the word of God. And so today we are challenged as Christians how much do we put the word of God into practice? We are good at hearing. We hear, we read, but hardly do we put it into our lives. So it is not as much as we hear, but it is also as much as we do it. When we don't do it, when we don't practice it, let us remember we are not friends of Christ. God is good and all the time that is clear as that even if you are his mother his brother his sister and you don't put it into practice what the word teaches us we are just nominal so let us try our best to be practicing christians thank you Fill my house unto the fullest, eat my bread and drink my wine. The love I bear is held from no one, all I own and all I do I give to you. Take my time unto the fullest, find in me the trust you seek, and take my hands to you outreaching, all I own and all I do, I give to you. Join with me as one in Christ's love. May our hearts so beat as one, and may we give ourselves completely. All I own and all I do, I give to you. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with the favor, Almighty God, on the offerings of your people. And through the intercession of the blessed martyrs, grant that we ourselves may become a sacrifice acceptable to you for the salvation of all the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is light and just. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your sins are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give order to their faith, to 
their endurance, your grand fame resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the host of angels, cry out, and without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. May holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world. We bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with the Francis, our Pope, Peter Panola, our Archbishop, David, the Auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and all the martyrs, St. Joseph, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased to do the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, 
from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. The Lamb of God, the Holy who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
pray after Holy Communion, soul of Christ, sanctify me, body of Christ, save me, blood of Christ, inebriate me, water from the side of Christ, wash me, passion of Christ, strengthen me, O good Jesus, hear me, within thy woods, hide me, permit me not to be separated from thee, from the wicked, for defend me, at the hour of my death, call me, and bid me come unto thee that with thy angels and saints I meet this thee forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Nourished with the food of the valiant, as we celebrate the blessed martyrs, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that clinging faithfully to Christ, we may labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass has ended. Let us go forth to continue to listen and do the Word of God. Thanks be to God. Have a beautiful morning. Same to you, Fathers. Thank you. El Queen of Heaven, the ocean star, guide of the wanderer, here below, throne on life's side, we claim thy care, save us from fear and from war. Mother of Christ, star of the sea, pray for the one, pray for me. And while to him who lives above, in Godhead one, in persons three, Source of life, of grace, of love, homage we pay on bedded knee. Do thy bright queen, star of the sea, play for thy children, pray for me. Capuchin TV, your Catholic Broadcasting Ministry. Na pia ni washukuru tena kwa support unapatia Capuchin TV. Ile support tunapatia Capuchin TV ni muhimu sana. Kwa sababu kazi wanafanya ya kuhubiri njini kote mimi siwezi hata wewe kwa sababu na ujuzi lakini hao kwa kuwasaidia tunafanya hiyo kazi tuendelee kufanya kazi paybill number 510678 account name caps tv You are watching Capuchin TV. For any complaints, comments, 
or compliment on our programming, you can either write to us on info at capuchintv.co.ke or you can call us directly on 0717-424-866. Your complaint shall be addressed within seven days. Remember to keep a copy of your communication with us. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity. St. Francis Training College, located along Kasarani Mwiki Road, is a center of excellence in provision of quality technical training and innovation. We offer competitive courses in garment making, computer applications and catering, which comprises of artisan, craft and diploma certificates. Our teachers in all subjects, they are friendly. They take us the way they are. They accept us with with the, our different disability or challenges in learning. Personally, I've benefited a lot from the teachers, my colleagues, and uh, everyone around the institution. I've learned a lot of things from this institution. The center, which is owned and run by the Little Sisters of St. Francis, provides a pleasant environment for learning activities. I'm a student who joins the class at 10, and the sister is also complying with me and I also get the required information that has been taught the previous hours before I, I have to attend the class. We strive to keep pace with the changing world of skills technology as we constantly improve our programs to bring the best out of every student. There are also some subjects that we are taught pertaining our course life skills, how we can live with others, how we can also live with those in the community, with those whom we are around with, maybe during class time, and also how we can handle life issues. There is also communication skills, how we can communicate with their customer at the workplace, how you can communicate with their friends, teachers, and also how you can express yourself to maybe different people at different levels. At St. Francis, we value students' welfare during and after their course duration as we support them to secure industrial attachment and employment whenever possible. It's a nice place to be, a school that nurtures more talents. Our intakes are open in January and September every year. For more information about us, visit our website at www.stfranciscollege.or.ke or contact us on 0727-222-895. You can also send an email to St. Francis Training Center at gmail.com. St. Francis Training Center, we promote human dignity moral values and professionalism for a better tomorrow. Trust, Compassionate, House of Holistic Healing, Immaculate Heart of Mary, Cycle Spiritual Counseling Center. We are located along Tandala Road, via Bogani Road, near J. Quat, Campus Karen. We offer family and marriage counseling, group counseling, 
individual counseling, youth counseling, addiction counseling. We have psychosocial training. We also offer retreats. We have a hall that can be used for seminars and workshops. And we also have accommodation. We welcome all from far and near because the accommodation we offer, you will have a bed to rest and food to nourish yourself. Welcome all because our prizes are so affordable. You can reach us on, as I said, Tandala Road, via Bogani Road, near Jaquant, current campus. You can call us on 0743878151 or 0711681425. Our email is counseling c442 at gmail.com Tunawakaribisha nyote. Hii ni nyumba ambayo mutaweza kupona kiroho na kimwili. Mwakaribisha nyote kwa Immaculate Heart Psycho Spiritual Counseling Center Karen. Karibu. Therese Vocational Training College in Karen is an educational institution accredited to empower young people to be self-reliant by equipping them with knowledge in hospitality industry, life skills, and computer literacy. We seek to transform the hospitality industry under the supervision of the Donum Day Missionary Sisters by molding competent individuals who are at the center of developmental activities. Join us today and rediscover your God-given talent and dignity through positive social interactions, dignified holistic training, and acquisition of hands-on experience in a serene environment. We are easily accessible by both private and public means of transport. Visit us at Donum Day Rossell House in Karen or contact us on 0722-306-030 or 0739-309-593 or send an email to info at rossellhouse.com. We also hire professional cooks, housekeepers, waiters and waitresses. Visit our website at www.sentherese.ac.ke for more details. St. Therese Vocational Training College. Actualize your full potential in life.
Saturday, 24th of September 2022, all roads will lead to St. Joseph Cathedral in Gong for the diaconate ordination of 12 brothers of St. Joseph Missionary Society, also known as Mill Hill Society. The community of St. Joseph Formation Center Nairobi invites you all to witness and share in their joy as their beloved brothers are ordained to be deacons. Those who will be ordained deacons are Brother Regan Bangamodo, Brother Camille Lola, Brother Joseph Kindong Yong, Brother Conrad Yonga Kong, Brother Collis Ndifor, Brother Marcelinas Chibe Chia, Brother Joseph Imeru, Brother Elvost Lunchi, Brother Nelson Kumtsam. Brother Kingsley Botambu, Brother Celestine Kiven, and Brother Eric Jume. The Holy Mass will commence at 10 a.m., led by His Excellency Archbishop Hubertus Matthias Maria Van Megan, the Apostolic Nuncio to Kenya and South Sudan. The celebrations will be aired live on Capuchin TV and its corresponding digital spaces, and he appointed 12 so that they would be with him and that he could send them out to preach. All are invited. Save the date and the time. St. Joseph Missionary Society of Me here. Amare et servire. To love and to serve. Amare et servire. To love and to serve. Amare With joy and gratitude to God, the parish priest of Kisoko Catholic Church and the family of Mr. Benjamin Omondi and Judith Najaho invite you to join them in the Thanksgiving Mass of their daughter, Sister Emilia War Omondi. Sister War is a newly perpetually professed nun of the Catholic Congregation of Ursuline Sisters. The Thanksgiving Mass and Benediction will be celebrated on Friday, 23rd of September at the family home in Ikondo Hera village in Busia, Kenya. Capuchin TV crew will be camping in Busia on the seed date, bringing you real-time transmission on your TV screens and social media timelines. Come one, come all. For inquiries, contact Sister Emilio Mondi on 0711-607-886. Capuchin TV congratulates Sister Awar and the larger Arsuline Sisters community. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. John chapter 20 verse 21. <laughs> Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity. Capuchin TV, Kitambulisho Katoliki. Pencils, a ruler, your calculator, a 